I'm at it again. Another night on Uncle Sam or Jammer. Um, I've been at it for quite a bit now, but it was just um, a lot of cleaning up and a lot of other little things that I didn't really need to explain anyways, or that I've already explained. It was just me time-lapsing, working, and getting dirty and eating grinder dust. So, um, But here is this. I got, uh, I put this brace, I ended up just putting it here, um, made sure it was low, uh, square, obviously it's a little closer to this bar than this bar, which means this bar is just a little bit further back than that one, but no big deal. Um, I got the control arm tabs, uh, each tab is like a quarter of the way welded, I just weld them on there so they wouldn't go anywhere, because I wanted to set them and get them in place before I started crawling all over the place because I already had them halfway mocked up. Um, this one ended up being two, two and an eighth, I believe, off the frame rack. And the backs both ended up being two and five eighths. Or maybe this was two and a quarter, that was two and five eighths. So we got in between, you know, just under a half an inch above in the back there. And I talked to Brad last night and he said, make these, you can make them straight, but he said if you can put a little bit of backwards angle on them, that would be, he likes to do that. So... The backs of the control arms are half an inch, just under half an inch higher than the fronts. This back here has just a, a little bit slight backwards angle going on it. And now when I set my rack, um, I'm going to I can measure this angle. You know, I can zero my angle finder here, measure this angle, and then set the height of the rack to make sure that my steering arm is at the same angle as this when I bolt it on. So that way, it follows the same geometry as the control arm because if you don't follow the same geometry as a control arm with your steering rack as the travel goes up and down and the arm goes like this it actually gets shorter and longer so if it doesn't follow the the same geometry of the control arm it's going to give you toe in or toe out at certain areas and make the car handle funny which you don't want either handle funny or scrub scrub the tires so Doing that, I kind of just scotch brighted all the bars to get all the surface rust off of them and make them all nice and pretty. Then I cut all that triangulation out that I said I was going to right there, and I cleaned the bars. I couldn't really get up under there to clean that one off, but I'll do that when it's on the lift, clean those. So now my next debate is whether I bolt my old mid plate back in, bolt the trans in, set the mock-up motor in here, put the turbos and all that, do these bars just to pull it back out because I'm not, I don't believe I'm going to use the same mid plate that I have. I'm going to buy a new one and then make, like I said, the hoops. So that's a lot of in and out for just that, but I really need to do that. So that way I don't do these diagonal bars in the way of anything. So I think that's my next plan. Obviously I'm going to there's all kinds of dust and debris and just junk everywhere from me cutting those bars and grinding them. So I'm going to do a little cleanup and then going to set the trans and the mid plate and the mock-up motor in here and get to going on that stuff. So that way I can put the turbos and headers and all that stuff on here. So yeah, buddy, we're getting after it. we now we're looking fancy as you guys just saw i about killed myself trying to get that trans in there because moo moo was gone getting arby's i thought he was gone but like i said i got those clean all that stuff out of the way cleaned everything up and then made another mess but it's okay just wiped it up but got the trans in there mid plate our mock-up block only has two good holes left, so that's why I got 
the strut, the, the, uh, force, um, reliever, what? the for force reliever, <laughs> five, the force reliever 5,000 right here with seven blocks of wood. But now I'm going to bolt these, these dare headers on and them hot sides on. And we'll see if hold it. we'll yeah, see if not. this plastic block will hold up these turbos and headers and everything. So probably not. I mean, it's already pretty much junk. So you should try to get you your heads. Well, I almost threw it away. Well, the heads aren't going to do anything. The heads will hold though. The headers on better. You actually put the heads on this thing. Well, you still can only use two bolts right here, which I think is going to be the weak point because I don't think these are going to be the weak point. We'll find out. Yeah, I mean, either way, I think you're screwed, but whatever. All right, well, I'm going to put the hot sides and the turbos on, and then we'll go from there. All right, it's really looking like something now, even though it's not, because it's all gonna come back apart. This is literally just for a reference, but it makes me pretty happy. Look at that, oh yeah, thing looks legit. I really like these front down bars, those things. They look like real race car stuff here. All right, I'll flip this around and I'll show you guys what I've done, what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and what I'm gonna do next. So here it is. All right, so I got, like I said earlier, I got the tabs halfway welded on. Um, I got the transmissions meandered in there. Um, I got the headers, hot sides, turbos, downpipes on. And this is the exact reason why I didn't just want to run a bar there because literally right in the freaking way. So, um, I'm not sure if I can run, like, if I can turn this down, if I can run a bar from here straight through of inch and a quarter. I don't know if it can be inch and a quarter, if it's got to be inch and five eighths, I'm going to have to look that up. Um, or if it's able to be bent and still be strong enough, have a little kick in it, you know, go straight from here, you know, come down, kick back and then kick out through the downpipe. Or if I'm just going to have to redo the downpipes, I don't know yet. Um, redoing the downpipes really isn't that big of a deal, but I know the space from here, you know, where my, you know, this literally set right on where the front end was. So the space from here to here is not very much for anything to get there. So just have to do some fabricating and some, uh, some creative thinking there. This side, same thing. There's not a whole lot of room unless I can come out and around the down pipes and up if that's an option and then maybe put a gusset in it. That'd be cool if I can do that because I got my bender. I could literally just come out and then bend in, come up to here. Obviously, this could spin up. A, well, I'm not going to do this. Anyways, that was what I had to do when I was in Brayton. I blew a turbo up, and I bought this turbo um, and had to rig that up in the pits for my old turbo. But either way, I'm thinking... Yeah, this one, I want to make them symmetrical. I don't want to make this one bend in and that one bend out. This one bending out, I don't think is really an option. I'm not real sure. I think I'm just going to put my bars, I'm going to move, take the downpipes off, put my bars where they go, and then I'll redo the downpipes, I guess. Maybe. I'm not sure just yet. But either way, I'm going to figure that out. I'm not really sure where I'm going to go with that, but obviously whatever I do, I'll let you know. Um, 
I put some two by fours under the headers to hold the weight of the turbo. So this block isn't really holding the weight of the turbos anymore. Um, but either way, pretty stinking awesome. I can finish welding these, weld all those. And then if I can get that bar done, I need to order my mid plate and some more inch and a quarter tubing. And I need to make brackets to mount my steering rack, which obviously I should be able to mount my steering rack right in line with this and not have any issues with either the balancer or the oil pan or anything like that. Um, I need to figure out what radiator I'm going to run. I'm going to, so I'm going to try to do some pretty trick stuff for the drag and drive stuff. I want to make, I want to get, um, I want to get quick connect fittings for my fuel tank, my fuel cell and my radiator, like the quick seal ones, like what, uh, I showed on Brandon Dollar that Brandon Dollar had. And I want to hook them to my, my, um, pump gas fuel cell and my radiator and all everything that can be taken out. I'm gonna put on those quick connects and I'm gonna take that out when I get to the track. Like literally put it on put it on mounts that have pull pins, pull it out, loop my coolant lines with the quick connects, and then um, take every ounce of weight out of this thing that I can and then go from there. So there's gonna to have to be a lot of planning, pre-planning and all that stuff done. But like I said, I'm just trying to get the car rolling for now. So I need to get the control arms done the steering done and these little my little sidebars done so that way oh i'm tired that way i can take it off the jig but i was talking to jason from 10 soldiers earlier he said i really need to keep it on the jig to do the firewall to do the mid play to do everything but i said man i'm just gonna be honest with you if i get the chance where this thing gets done and i can set it on the ground and roll it I'm going to do it because it's just, uh, and maybe it's just my generation, but I love that gratification. I'm, I'm all for the gratification. So, but it looks cool to have bullhorns back on it, have a motor setting in it, even though it's plastic and have some turbos on it. It's pretty satisfying to see where it's came in just, heck, just a, four or five days. Starting to look like a car again, boys. Look at this. Yeah, buddy. So that's probably it for tonight. Um, this video obviously is not going to be as long as yesterday's video. Oh, but I told you I'm going to keep trying to do the daily upload thing. Even though, I mean, I know you guys might want more than what I'm giving you, but I'm just going to keep it real and give you what I've done. I'm trying to do everything that I can, I'm trying to get as much done as possible and still be a functioning human being. So come on with it.